she's told you she's made two hundred thousand dollars in yes. two years. Yes. As a gold digger, professional gold digger. Well, yeah. She just uses men as as a Ben Kamaz. So I presume she has sex with them. Well, yes. The top five signs that you might be dating a gold digger. Uh, hello, Maria. Hi again. Hello again. So, you know, guys are always asking us, how can I spot a gold digger? Like, what's the difference between a good girl in Ukraine and somebody with surreptitious motives that might be more interested in your money than love? What do you think? Well, I have some information from a real and a professional gold digger. And first of all, good girls, they don't ask for money on the first dates. You cannot even hear any any kind of I don't know thoughts about money because it's it's hard for her to open mouth and say that okay I have some problems or I have some money issues and can you help me it's totally difficult to even pronounce and gold diggers they ask easily they know how much they need they know how much um, they want to get from you on the second month or on the second date and she always um, I don't know, she, she, she dressed always in ex expensive clothes, she has expensive um, outfit and uh, jewelry. So it's, it's al also a sign that uh, she might be a gold digger. And um, gold diggers, they always uh, push you to give money when, I don't know, they, they use like men or emotional men side. I mean, they say, or you are not man if you cannot help me with money or something like this. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I uh, uh, use some such tricky words. I cannot even, I know, pronounce them because I don't even know them. So. Yeah, I've heard of this before, where they they will um, basically um, threaten your masculinity. Um, you yeah. know, you're not a real man because uh, you know you can only buy me this it's only a hundred dollars or two hundred mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah using point. manipulation um, so uh, to cut to the chase you have mm -hmm. a friend who's a professional gold digger of you were telling I, me I do have a friend and she told me some stories that she earned about two hundred thousand dollars in two years and she's traveling a lot and she she lives in Ukraine about one or two months per year so and she earns money like she has this in cash and she has a lot of gifts she has a lot of presents she has all brand uh, um, purses and um, I don't know, clothes so it's it's kind of a lifestyle and and it's a job for her it's not about emotions it's not about like some i don't know precious feelings and moments and she will not enjoy it and she will not even remember it so she just uses men as as a bankomat as a bankomat and so you said she's told you she's made two hundred thousand dollars in yes. two years yes as a gold digger professional gold digger well yeah she, she she's uh, for seven years in this in industry but her last uh, I don't know goal was money goals and she she earned it she achieved it okay so let's let's um we have an actual story of a actual professional gold digger here Let's analyze this a little bit. What does she look like? Can you describe? Does she have Botox lip? Uh, does she have she a lot of proceeds? Because she has natural uh, big lips, but she has long blonde hair. She she's always with makeup. She dressed in uh, skinny and and short dresses or skirts. She's always on heels. She's always uh, I don't know. She's always ready. It's, it seems like this. She's always, always ready. ready to go for the po yes. pocketbook. So basically, she looks like a Barbie doll, I'm sounding, yes. it sounds like. And she and uh, the age of this man, I asked her, it's from, well, the um, age difference mm -hmm. from 20 till uh, 30 years. 20 so years difference to 30 years yes, difference. Yes, even that she's around my age, I mean. Mm -hmm. So she, she she attracts uh, men who are much older than her, and they invest in this beauty, in this um, young beauty, and uh, she, she's she's really sexy, attractive, and she's kind of she's very slim, yeah. Not not very slim, but she has a good figure. Mm -hmm. So figure. yes. Okay. And so she goes for victims <laughs> are whatever twenty to thirty years uh, older. And yes. how long of relationship does she ha have? Like, what's her mo? 
from three months till six months. So I presume she has sex with them. Well, yes, and that's that's normal. But mm -hmm. not with all, not not with everybody. But mm -hmm. she might have sex, sexual uh, relationships with him. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what what else? Uh, what other signs? Like what other? Mm, what else is part of her mo? Her modus operandi. Uh, she pays a lot of attention to men's outfit, uh, mm, watch, uh, I don't know, cell phone, uh, wallet, and some some small signs. And of course, she pays a lot of um, attention to your um, wardrobe. I mean, your inner layer of clothes, and that tells how much money she can get from you. I'm going to play the devil's advocate a little okay. bit. So we we're saying, okay, gold diggers ask for money, right? Because yes. it's very anti-cultural for Ukrainian women to ask for money. It's uh, no, no, right? it's in, it's not typical here in Ukraine. And good girls, it's they usually try to solve prob problems by themselves, and because um, we have usually we have problematic uh, families and some problems with uh, parents and especially if parents are sick or they are not able to work of course we, we need to handle or cover these issues and we kind of get used to um, handle it by, by ourselves yeah I, I agree with you like um, Ukrainian ladies have a lot of pride right mm -hmm. they don't ask for money and they certainly wouldn't ask for money one time let alone a monthly uh, a monthly fee yes, or something like that. We are not asking because our position is uh, if he see that she has some struggles and some issues, he will offer help by himself. But it's not our mentality to ask for help because it's for us, it's um, like being too flexible, you know, don't have our pride, don't have uh, our opinion, our estimate. I agree with you. Like a woman is not going to ask for help, mm -hmm. but doesn't when you're in a relationship, doesn't she expect it? Well, of course, we expect help when we are in relationships, and uh, when men uh, sees or notices that she's in a, in a bad mood, or she has uh, something in her mind, it's it's better to ask, "Do you need my help?" or "How can I help you?" Don't ask, uh, do you need money from me or how much money do you need from me? Just ask, how can I help you? And if she says, no, I don't need any help, it means yes, but ask me more about this. So keep going and keep asking her. Okay, we're going to come back uh, with another video and we're going to drill down on this very, very important topic. When and how much should mm -hmm. you support your Ukrainian lady. It's a huge issue and it's a huge problem where you guys screw it up and you lose her because you don't offer enough. You don't, you're not perceived as a protector. Guys, and this is a huge mistake you guys are making and Coach Maria is going to help us shine some light on what's healthy, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, what's normal and what uh, will be comfortable for both of you. Coming up in the next video soon here on our channel.